This is one of the videos in which I try to put some aspects of power systems, where I am an expert, into music, where I am no expert at all. In another video I talked about rotating magnetic fields that can be created by means of three-phase alternating current power systems and which enable us to construct electric motors. But what if there is no three-phase system available? If there is only direct current, for example? Of course, you can create a magnetic field in the stationary part of the machine in the stator. A direct current flowing in a winding, in the brown winding strands away from us, in the blue winding strands towards us, creates a magnetic field along the axis of the winding, forming a right-hand helix together with the current. And of course you can also create a magnetic field in the rotating part of the machine in the rotor. A direct current flowing away from us in the red winding strands and towards us in the green winding strands. If there is a right angle between the magnetic field of the rotor and the one of the stator, you get a maximum torque trying to align the two fields and the rotor will turn. But then it will stop. That's not what we want. Luckily, there is a trick how to achieve a continuous rotation. As you see, there are 12 rotor winding strands in our example. Around the hub of the rotor you see a thing consisting of 12 segments. The correct term for this device is the commutator with its 12 commutator bars. Now, each junction between two winding strands is connected to one of the commutator bars according to a sophisticated scheme. The current is supplied to the winding strands by means of two stationary brushes which are always in contact with one pair of commutator bars. When the rotor keeps turning, there comes the moment when click, the brushes make contact with the next pair of bars so that the current flow through two of the winding strands is reversed and the magnetic field sort of jumps one step back. This can go on endlessly, as I will show you. By this commutator trick, the magnetic field of the rotor can be kept quasi-stationary, providing a steady torque on which the rotor continuously turns away. But let's shortly analyze what I've done musically and listen to it once more. I just assigned the direction of the magnetic fields to the musical notes within one octave. Thus, an angle of 90 degrees corresponds to an interval of a minor third. And a step from one pair of commutator bars to the next, meaning an angle of 30 degrees, corresponds to an interval of a semitone. That's all.